Hi, I'm Rebecca. In this video, I will show you how I sell images of dogs online. I've sold images online for over five years now, and what I use is SmugMug. Now, SmugMug on their website, they've got a new website, it says you can sell images, get set up within 15 minutes. Well, let's take a look at their website, what else it says. It's a nice website, what they've got made. Let's have a look, let's get into it. Now, from the home page, you want features. Selling photos. Make cash with your camera. Finally, a photography platform built to keep up with your hustle. There we go, 15 minute setup. And we've got prints, products, digital downloads. Well, that's what you can sell because I know that because I sold loads of them. Now, your prints in the UK come from Loxley Colour. In America, the Bay Photo. And they've got a couple of other printers. Custom price lists. Now, what that means is you can just choose the price you want to sell your images for. Turnkey billing and payment. What that basically means is it's all set up ready for you. All you need to do is upload your images and choose which products you would like to sell. And there's a key to that to sell more, which we'll find out later on in the video. Okay, what else have we got? Start making money in moments. Always wanted to sell your photos? 15 minutes with SmugMug and you can start making money from your passion. So there we go, 15 minutes again. Try SmugMug free. Well, that's exactly what you can do. You can try SmugMug free for 14 days. And in the description below in the video, there's a discount too, so you'll save more money that way. Right, what I'm going to do is show you how easy it is to get started selling your images with SmugMug. Okay, are you ready? To start selling your images with SmugMug, you need to get some photos uploaded by clicking the big green button in the left hand corner. Now, wherever you are on the website, that button will be there once you are logged into your account. Okay. Now, if you click on the photo site, which is the website, my website, it'll take you to the front page. And you'll see again in the top bar, there's the upload button. Visitors to the website won't see that. That's just because we're logged in. The button is there for you. So we'll go back to the organize. Now, this area is where you do organize all your photos, your folders and your galleries. But also, this is secure online photo storage and backup. Now, don't underestimate what you've got here. It is worth every single penny and you get this with every SmugMug account. Even if you just have the basic account, you get this storage. Now I've around 8,000 images in here and in this kennel club folder alone, there is 3,000 images and they're all for sale on SmugMug. So let's just go back to the photo home site page. So yeah, all these photos, it doesn't look like there's many, but there is, there's absolutely loads around 8,000 I think at the moment. They're all securely stored here. Now if you go to the App Store you can download the SmugMug app, it's free. And what I've also got going off is my hard drive is being backed up to this storage which is brilliant. My mobile phone, I've got the app on my mobile phone which is free. All my mobile phone photos and videos are stored here too, they're all backed up. And SmugMug even put them into little month, little month folders, which is great. I didn't do that. They did that. Now, if you take a look on my phone, on my phone, I can access all these photos. There's my hard drive backup. I can access from my phone. All my mobile phone images are backed up. There they are, all in little year folders. All the Kennel Club photos I can access. All those what are for sale, they're there. Every single thing what's in my storage is on, I can access on my phone. Now, what I have it set to is auto upload and once my phone is charging, that any photos I've taken will get backed up. It's as simple as that. Let's upload some images. So click the green button upload. 
Now you want to decide whether you want to upload into a new gallery, into an existing gallery you already have, or upload folders. Well, we'll upload into a new gallery. Now the title, you have to have a title on your gallery. Mine is usually the dog's name when I've done a private commission. But if you're selling prints or wanting to do stock photos within Smug Mug, then you need to think carefully about what you're going to title the gallery and the description, what you're going to put in and put plenty of keywords in. So your URL will be your domain name with the title of the gallery at the end. Now, security and sharing, the visibility public, anyone is what it says. Anyone will see those photos, but you can add a password to a public gallery. Unlisted anyone with the link. Now that's what I use after I've done the dog photography photo shoots. They all get their photos sent on a link and you can add a password to that. Okay, and private only me is private. Perfect for storing your photos. I've got loads of private galleries where well, they're just photos stored and only me is going to see the photos. But for this, we'll just have public anyone. Now, photo protection. Maximum display size. There's a choice how, you know, what size you want to display. With the portfolio and the pro account, you can have right click message and you can change the message what comes up when people try and right click and take your images. You can apply a watermark. I've got a couple in already. Now, to get your watermark in, you just click create watermark. You can bring your own PNG watermark in, or you can create one within SmugMug. Social. It's always handy to put your social sharing options on. Now, the shopping cart. If you've not managed your price list, which you probably haven't, if you switch the shopping cart on, you will probably be selling your images at the smug mug recommended price so switch it off until you've had a look and managed your price list and all those other bits in there come with the pro account like the proof proof delay and boutique packaging you need the pro account to use those appearance that's the style of your gallery camera info i always have off file names sometimes i have them on and that's it create and then from there you will upload your images that is how you upload your images now depending how big the files of your images are and how many you've got will depend how long it will take it does not take that long it, say you had 300 images which were all about 20 megabytes I don't know 10 15 minutes it's not ridiculously long for the size of files you've got okay so i'll show you how to manage a price list so you need the selling tools now here is where your sales history is your how many sales you've had the profit you've made and the profit which has been on which is unpaid the amount what you'll be paid and now you're paid each month that profit and you can set how low the amount is before you get paid. And the price list is where you click manage to manage the price list. Okay, I'll keep this simple. With Smug Mug, there are two accounts where you can sell images at the set price you want to sell. It's the portfolio and the pro account. Now the portfolio account is the most popular for selling images but with that you can make as many price lists as you like but only one price list will be active so if you've got say 10 galleries and you want to sell images from all those galleries that price list will have to go on all of those galleries now with the pro account you can set as many or make as many price lists as you like but you can put different price lists with different prices on to all different galleries. Now don't be put off by the portfolio account only having one active price list. 
Now, I had the portfolio account when I was selling those 3,000 images with the Kennel Club and I had dog photography, private commission shoots then. They all, everything I sold was on one price list. It is, it's, it is a good way of selling your images. Now, to manage the price list and when you start, you will get a starter price list using SmugMug recommendations. So click on that and you want to edit the list. Now within this list you will have everything what you can sell. This is from Loxley Colour in this list but the downloads you have to add in. Now to do that you just click choose products and this is where you well everything's in here but to add your downloads, personal photo license, commercial photo license on your downloads and you've also got your video personal and your commercial and you just tick the box if you want them all in or just one, just tick the box and then click done and that will add it into your price list. Okay now let's go for the standard prints now what will happen with your prints when they're coming from Loxley in the UK you will have three print types and here your base is basically what it what what it's going to cost the price in the middle is the profit you will make and the price at the end is what you will you will be selling that print for now smug mug take 15% I haven't got a problem with that at all because they set all this up and all you do if you're bothered about that 15% is stick it back on that price there now if you want to make 10 pound profit there let's go for 12.99 there you go 1051 or you can change it here 10 pound there you go that is how you change everything if you're wanting to put your own price in or if you're unsure you can just try working with the smog mug recommendations to start with and if you want to remove anything just hit the bin or if you want to remove the whole 6x4, click delete, they're gone. Now they're not gone forever. If you've done that by mistake, you just go back to choose products. Let's click that, click that. Paper print standard sizes. Just click your 6x4 back in. Done. And there you go. It's back in on the price what you put it in as well. Now, there's a lot of prints here. You've got three print types. You've got wall art. They're nice, those desk, desk frames. Keepsakes, different keepsakes. There's all sorts. Now what you do to apply the list to your gallery is click on there and that will take you back to where all your photos are stored and just choose a gallery you want to uh, apply the price list to. Click done, that will take you back and that one particular gallery has this price list applied to it now so when you shop, switch the shopping cart on, on the gallery this is what you will be, the price you will be char you know, uh, price you will be charging people, whatever you've put in those boxes and then you click apply changes go back to manage price lists and go back to that price list now depending what you are doing or what you are selling you have to think about it a bit don't you if you want to really sell your images you're going to have to thin this list out. Now, say you're doing a wedding, 
you are going to need a few various sizes because you probably will have a group shot you might have a few squares but if your all your images are squares you can just clear out all the panoramic all the other sizes all the standard sizes and the same within the wall art if you're going to offer that because there's no point in offering panoramic sizes when your photos are squares and vice versa if if you're a landscape and they're all panoramic you don't need to offer squares and the key to this is the less choice people have the more likely they are to buy because you're not going to confuse them with all these different sizes and to be honest the average person who is not a photographer hasn't got a clue in the nicest possible way. They really don't understand and they also don't understand all the different print types. Now I will only sell the Lustra because I like Lustra. My photos look good in Lustra so why am I going to offer glossy and metallic? It's another way of cutting down choices. I mean it's entirely up to you what you want to offer and what you want to charge but that's what I do so as once you've thinned out your list and ch chose your price click apply changes and that's it you've got your price list sorted basically okay I'll just show you how to switch the shopping cart on the gallery so back to organize now we applied this gallery to that price list what we've just sorted out so if you click settings on the gallery that will take you back to the gallery settings and you just go shopping and switch on the cart that's it that price list we just sorted is on now so that gallery is ready to go the shopping cart is on once you have all your prices sorted in your shop in your price list that's it it's on you can share that on social media the link to that gallery you can add that gallery to your website if you're doing a private commission you can send it out on a private link it's ready now what happens when you make a sale you'll get an email from SmugMug to tell you what you've sold, whether you sold a print or a digital download and that's it. You don't need to do anything. You don't need to order any prints, you don't need to email out any downloads, everything is done for you. So once you have all your photos set up into galleries and you've applied your price list, you can just leave it and just let it run. Go and groom some dogs, go for a walk, go on holiday doesn't matter you don't need to do anything once it's set up and that's what is so good about smog mug